Okay, our topic for today is converting days to week using subtraction method. So we already know that seven days equals one week. Now, if I have 28 days, if I have, let's say Lucy went for vacation and she took 28 days, how many weeks? She took. So Lucy went for 28 days on vacation. But we want to find out how many weeks she went. Yes. Sorry? Four weeks. Anybody else? Now, how do I go about finding my answer using subtraction? Anybody? Similar to what we did last week, we know that Lucy went how many days? 28 days. Now we want to know how many weeks she went. Using subtraction, we need to write, we need to use what we know. What do we know? We know that seven days equals one week. So if I want to know how many weeks, what will I subtract from the 28? Do I subtract one week? Remember, this is what? 28 days, not 28 weeks. So what will I subtract? The same thing. So if she went 28 days, for me to find out how many weeks she went, I need to subtract seven. seven. But remember, I told you that every time you subtract, you need to write seven equals one week. And the short way to write week is WK, okay? So now we subtract. If I have eight, can I take away seven? Yes. yes. I end up with? One. Is that all? No. What is missing? The tens column, right? So I say two minus nothing is two. Can I continue subtracting? Yes. Yes. So I subtract again. What will I subtract? Seven. And when I subtract seven, what do I write on the side? One week. Equal one week. So I subtract. If you have one, can you subtract seven? No. No. What do you do? Borrow you borrow. When you borrow, how much do you borrow? One. One group. Because here this is tens, right? So we're borrowing one group of tens. What do we do with that one group of tens? We put it together with the one. And it gives us? Eleven. Eleven. How many stay here? One. Now this is the part that some of you are forgetting. If you are borrowing, you need to have, to, you need to check how many is left. You can't borrow the entire two. You're just borrowing one group of pens, okay guys? You need to put your remainder there, and that is where you guys are making a mistake. So just be careful when subtracting. So we say, now we have 11, we take away 7. How much is left? 4. 5, 4, anybody? 4. Let's check. So we say 7, and we come, come up to 11. So we say 7. Your answer is? Your answer is? Four. four. Remainder four. Are we finished? No. What's left? One. One. One minus nothing? One. One. Can I keep on taking away? Yes. Yes. Again, minus what? Seven. When you minus seven, what do you write on the side? Equal one. 
And some of you are not writing this. So I don't know how you're getting your answer. This shows you exactly your answer. So we have four and you take away seven. Can you take away seven from four? No. No, what do you do? From where? From the one. So if you borrow from the one, how much stays? Zero. Zero. One, what do you do with the one? The one group of 10, you put it with the four, you get? 14. 14 take away seven. Seven. Can I continue taking away? Huh? Yes, because it's seven. Remember, if your remainder is the same, you keep taking away. If it's less, then you can't take away and it stays like that, okay? So we do seven. What do you do when you write minus seven? Equal one week. And so seven minus seven? Seven minus seven? Zero. Can I keep on taking away? No. No. Now, what do I do? What do I usually tell you you do? You circle the weeks. How many weeks? Four. 28 days equals four weeks. You did a good job, Jocelyn. See, Jocelyn did it in her mind. That's very good. But you need to show working for teacher, okay? So please. When you are doing this, show me you're working. Okay, remember we're we're finding it using subtraction.